therefore follow the philosophy of vairagya by practicing it it's important for you to follow and then there is another word with it abhyasa you don't overnight attain something no you will stumble many times like a child stumbles when he starts learning walk learning how to walk abhyasa abhyasa these are two wings of that bird who is trying to cross the mire of delusion and go to the eternity and she is called soul no yogic exercise no yoga is possible if you have not learned this attachment non attachment and vairagya it is not necessary for you to renounce now i'll tell you let me let me give you a little bit comparison of both i renounced my home whether i renounced or not you don't know but i still remember my home the home is still there and i am here what did i do i simply created the space it's it's sanyasa what is vairagya you live in a home wherever you are yet you remain above isliye therefore vairagya is definitely higher than sanyasa mere renunciation i renounced it because i want to be a swami but i still remember it so it's always in my mind it's good to have sanyasa but without vairagya it's of no use it's no use for you to renounce but if you have vairagya you have done it learning to understand the philosophy of non attachment is great now you learn it you do practice every day but at the same time now you are learning dhyana what dhyana does to you how dhyana is related to this dhyana is intense awareness one pointed awareness if you pour water somewhere there is a space but if you pour oil what will happen you will find one undisturbed flow concentration you are concentrating on something so it mind flies here there and comes back flies here and there in meditation it flows without any interruption it's not impossible you want quick results americans are wonderful and creative but for in dhyana they are very weak do you know why they will sow the seed today and they will not sleep whole night with the excitement but in the morning it will be growing and giving the fruits so next day mornings to chill and say hey, what happened we sowed the seed yesterday let us dig and find out the seed was still there other today again cover it again they went out they never allowed it to grow in excitement no excitement and no emotion should be evolved in meditation it's a process which needs patience and calmness training your attention then concentration and then meditation dhyana this whole prithvi material world is doing meditation we do many things we dig we pour we run it's doing meditation when you learn to be calm gentle to yourself still your body serene your breath calm your mind that which is hidden behind will come forward so meditation prayer and contemplation will lead you to do meditation in action and you will become the finest of all in the world walking on the earth as a free person that's what you need 
you don't need moksha, liberation, or God after death. You need him now and here in this world. And that can be practiced. That's what the Yoga Sutra says. So, I'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. If you have a question, ask Pandiji. <laughs> No, I'll give you time tomorrow, ten minutes time. But your question should be, I might also ask a question. You know, I've never given you in writing, you can ask question and I should not. <laughs> Whatever I taught you, do you remember, I can ask a question. So I will ask you one question and you ask me ten questions. How many times have I to lecture again? Do you have any problem with these guys, their teachings? Come on, I will answer their questions. Tell me if you have any, any questions. Yes. I have a question. I want to know um, how to resolve the apparent paradox of if it's the self that controls the mind, then why do no. we control the mind to no. know the self? No. It's mind that uses the power of the self. And it's ego that cheats. If I cheat the institute, this is not my property. And if I cheat the institute, I will feel that this is my property, this building is mine, I am a great man, I have owned multi-million multi dollars building, this is mine, this is cheating. This is becoming weak, because I am feeding my ego, something false, and cheating those who trust me. So I am cheating them. I am being dishonest to myself. I am being dishonest to them. I am only a teacher. This belongs to all. I have right to teach. After that I walk. If repairs comes, then <laughs> Larry and Kevin do. I don't worry for that. That's called Dharaj. Mind uses power of the soul. I will tell you for experiment. Have a such big bar of steel. Put one end to the fire. You will find the other end is also heated. Mind is constantly in touch, very close to soul. That heat which is coming from mind is not being utilized nicely by the mind for because of bad habits. So we will have to learn to help ourselves, purify our mind, thus make mind aware that this is not my power, this is the power of the soul. Thus be free from ego problems. What ego does? Ego contracts our personality, separates us from the whole, does not allow us to grow, does not allow us to become one with the reality. That's why the shortest cut is just to cut the ego, you are there. Okay, bye.